Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm doing some baby back ribs on the UDS. And I'm gonna be using Tracy Trigger. So, here we go. I am to the point where I'm getting ready to wrap my ribs, and you're probably like, well Dash, why didn't you show us how you got the grill started? Because I've showed you how to get, how I get the grill started. I've showed you how to pull the membrane off of ribs. I've showed you guys all of those things. But what I've never shown you guys how to do, or one of the things that I've never done, I'm gonna go ahead and use Tracy, my Pro 22 Traeger, or Traeger Pro 22. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get them wrapped up. I'm gonna get the Traeger started, and then we're gonna get them, once they sit on the Traeger for about an hour, I'm gonna take them out of the foil, get them, put barbecue sauce on them, put them back on the drum to finish them, and I'm gonna get them wrapped up and out the door. So, I guess the next thing you do, let's get Tracy started. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so I'm over at Tracy again. Tracy is my Traeger Pro 22. If you've never seen it, all you do to get the Traeger started, you don't even have to turn it off and on. All you do is turn it to the smoke setting, open up the lid, and you just wait you have to be patient so now while the trigger is coming up to temperature what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get my ribs off of the ugly drum into aluminum foil or into a foil pan and we're going to multitask so let's get that done now these ribs they look good so now i have two medium sized ribs there's one It's hot, there's the other. Now I should have put a cotton glove underneath this, but I didn't. I'm gonna grab the third one. Woo, do I? All right, we're just gonna do it. And I'm gonna flip this one over this way. Now, you guys have seen me do this before, but I'm gonna do this this way. And I'm uh, what I've done in the past is I would sauce the ribs at this point, but what I'm gonna do today, and this is gonna be something different, something experimental, is I'm going to put these in here, I'm gonna let them cook in the Traeger for about an hour or so, wrapped up in foil, and then I'm gonna get them sauced and put them back on the ugly drum. Oh, for those of you guys who asked what I do when I put my ribs, that was it. I cover them in foil, wrap the foil tightly, and that's all. I'm Now at this point, I'm gonna wait for the trigger to finish doing this burn off, the initial burn off sequence and coming up to temperature. Once it comes up to temperature, we'll get it loaded. All right, so now as you can see, the thick white smoke is what we are waiting for to finish. As soon as it finishes, the initial startup process. Then I'm gonna take the ribs in the foil pan. I'm gonna get them over here on the Traeger and we're gonna, I'm gonna cook them on the Traeger for about an hour. The ribs have been over on the ugly drum for about two and a half, almost three hours, but you kinda of don't wanna always try to cook the time. You saw what those ribs look like. They had a, a decent mahogany color. They, they had, they were, they're ready. You, you can just tell when ribs are ready. So now you see the smoke has dissipated. At this point, once you hear the fire starting, I'm gonna get my, get the trigger dialed up to 300 degrees. And then what I'll do is I will go ahead and put the uh, ribs on here. Now, before I do that, have some 
just a little bit of schmutz that I just don't want on the pan. So we'll clean that off really fast. And then we'll get the pan and we'll get them on here. Now me going ahead and using my trigger to finish these ribs today, and actually not to finish them, but to do the in-between step, is a great alternative to having to use your oven or even the ugly drum. One of the reasons why I'm using the trigger is that full catering pan that I use, it does not fit on the ugly drum. So I usually take everything off or I take food off of the ugly drum and I would finish it in the oven if I were doing uh, if I was able to. So now at this point, like I said, I got it into the, the trigger. And the reason why I'm trying it in the trigger today is to use it as an alternative to taking the food and finishing it in the oven. You guys always give me grief when I finish things in the oven. So today, how about I, I use the trigger, which is another grill slash smoker, and we're going to try to see what happens in doing it this way. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But again, I'm gonna let it sit in here for 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get it back onto the ugly drum once I sauce it, and then we'll, we'll get them finished. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. One hour later. All right, guys, so it's been an hour. At this point, I'm getting ready to pull the ribs out of the pan. I'm gonna pull them over here, and then I'm gonna get them sauced, and then we're gonna get them back onto the ugly drum. So I've gone ahead and brought the ribs over here and got them sauced. These are extra saucy today. The people who want these ribs have asked for them to be extra sauced and I will go ahead and oblige. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and they're just gonna sit out here for another half an hour or so. I'm not even really worried about the temperature. The temperature is starting to die down in the drum. I have my one hole on this on this uh, left side sealed up completely and I'm really only using the inlet here. So the temperature in the drum will be hovering right at about 250 degrees. I'll see you guys in another half hour. All right guys, so I am, <laughs> always, always fun to try to get the camera lined up. All right guys, so I am back outside and yeah, the top of my head is cut off, but I wanted to make sure you guys could actually see what was going on, what I'm gonna be doing here. So what I'm gonna be doing, wait for it. I saw lightning, I was waiting to see if you guys could see the thunder or hear, see thunder, hear the thunder. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a glove on and I'm gonna get start getting my ribs out of the smoker because they were on the ugly drum now what i'm going to do get these set up get the i'm actually i want to do this with my left hand so that i can pick them up or do i no all right thinking here while i'm while i'm doing man 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 Look at these ribs. Just, just look at those. That's crazy. All right, so obviously my ribs are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ribs in half while they're sitting here on the, on the smoker. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get them. Whoop, what? Right in there like that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the cotton glove on, and then we'll get the nitro glove on over top of it. And I'm just gonna get these pulled out. Right 
Hopefully you guys can see that swoop ring there. And I'll be able to demonstrate it a little easier with this side of the rim. Check out the smoke ring. Yeah, buddy. In there. Here's the last one. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Soft to set. Things are perfect. Now those of you guys who are asking, here's the last one. Those of you guys who are asking, these are a little more overdone, so backyard style. I took them to about 200, a little bit more than 200, but my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Smoke ring, perfect. Done this, perfect. Feel, perfect. Setting of the sauce, perfect. These ribs are gonna be delicious. Too bad none of them are for me. Well, butter, baby. <laughs> hey, look. Guys, down below is listed the P.O. Box. If you want to send us something to try, a sauce, a seasoning, some jerky, feel free, something funny, something for us to try, Send it to the P.O. Box below. It's always listed in the description. But Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So, sometimes you know, I peek. peek yes, you do. So, you want to tell them, thank, thank them again for watching? Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, Bye. guys.